welcome to the research portion of our show. And with us today is Ralph Turciano. And thank you for that intro. Mm -hmm. Now, first up is an article titled, Uncovering a Healthy Remedy for Chronic Pain. Sounds like a health food item altogether, but this was published in the Annals of Neurology. And chronic pain seems becoming more and more pervasive today, and less and less options seem available to treat it. Well, here's an interesting one that comes from omega-3 fish oils. What they discovered, this was from Duke University, again published in the Annals of Neurology. DHA, the main ingredient, actually part of the main ingredient, a fish oil supplements can soothe and prevent neuropathic pain caused by injuries to the sensory system. Research focused on a couple of components of DHA, omega-3, the neuroprotectin D1 and protectin D1, otherwise known as NPD1 and PD1. The compounds are derived from omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil, but are 1,000 times more potent in the precursor reducing inflammation. So, when doing omega-3s, it's not going to be as potent as what these guys are working on, but DHA would be the best place to start. The findings revealed that NPD1 and PD1 not only alleviated the pain, but also reduced nerve swelling, something many of your painkillers are not going to do, or opiates, but also reduced nerve swelling, as I said, following the injuries, meaning DHA is not a bad idea to keep around. Its analgesic effect stems from the compound's ability to prohibit, inhibit, not prohibit, the production of cytokines and chemokines, which are small signaling molecules that attract inflammatory macrophages to the nerve cells. By preventing cytokines and chemokine production, the compounds protected the nerve cells from further damage. Let your common painkiller try and do that. But NPD1, NPD1 also reduced neuron firing, so the injured animals in the test felt less pain. Chronic pain resulting from major medical procedures such as amputation, chest, and breast surgery is a serious problem. Current treatment options for neuropathic pain include gabapentin and various opioid, opioids, opiates, which may lead to addiction and destruction of the sensory nerves themselves. On the other hand, NPD1 and PD1 from Omega-3 fish oil, particularly the one called DHA, can relieve neuropathic pain at very low doses. And more importantly, animals receiving the treatment did not show signs of physical dependence or enhanced tolerance, which is interesting. There's a lot of painkillers you develop a tolerance to. Mm -hmm. DHA from omega-3, you do not. Real interesting. Remember, the omega-3s used to become part of our diet, too. So basically, it's, maybe it's one reason why our ancestors are a little more tolerant to pain and working so hard, is because the amount of omega-3s in the diet was significant enough to reduce the pains and the soreness of the daily hard labor they had to do. And they also said, too, DHA is very inexpensive, especially inexpensive since you, don't, since you think about the lack of addictive properties and the lack of tolerance being built to it. DHA. Annals of Neurology, they did the study with Duke University, and it kicked butt. After that, vitamins and minerals can boost energy and enhance mood. I know you guys hear a lot of negative from the media from time to time on vitamins and minerals, but guess what? There's a lot, a lot of good research out there that you don't get to hear. And this was published in, or announced at the 2013 Institute of Food Technology, Technology Annual Meeting of Food Expo held in McCormick Place. What they discovered was this. Monday, they basically said on Monday during the conference, vitamins and minerals can be, and this is what they're saying, not me. This is what the scientists are saying. Can be the alternative to increasing psychiatric medicines for symptom relief of anxiety and depression. The supplements she said can provide the mental energy necessary to manage stress, enhance mood, and reduce fatigue vitamins and minerals. Next time you go to your doctor, say you're feeling down, how many times do you say, hey, you taking a multivitamin? Mm. Good question. All right, a series of studies they conducted in Canada. Studies. Kaplan found that at least 97 adults 
diagnosed mood, with diagnosed with mood disorders, who kept a three-day food record, said the higher intake of vitamins and minerals significantly correlated with the overall, overall enhanced mental functioning. Also from the University of Utah, they said, quote, and this was their addendum, 5-HTP, vitamins B, as in boy, and D, as in David in particular, as well as ginkgo biloba and omega-3. All right, again, that was from the 2013 Institute of Food Technolo Technologists. Apologize about that. And coming up, ginkgo biloba. I know ginkgo biloba has been chastised quite a bit in the media, but often what happens with ginkgo biloba, they don't do the study on the right groups. Doing, using ginkgo biloba in a bunch of 25-year-olds is not going to get you the study results you're looking for. However, this is what was published in the Neural Regeneration Research, Volume 8, November 18th, 2013, no, number 18, apologize, 2013, on ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba they found was good for vascular dementia. So it is important to stimulate what they believe is called androgynous neural stem proliferation and differentiation. The ginkgo biloba extract, in particular EGB761, effectively and safely treated memory loss and cognitive impairments in patients with senile dementia. Ginkgo biloba, the extracts from it, did the job. Researchers found the ginkgo biloba extract, in particular EGB761, which is a component to ginkgo, promoted and prolonged the proliferation of neural stem cells in the subventricular zone and detained gyrus in rats with vascular dementia. The cells continued to proliferate at four months while on ginkgo biloba. The extract also significantly improved learning and memory in rats with vascular dementia. Mm. Again, ginkgo biloba, very good, and according to them, shown to work for senile dementia, especially when it's regards to vascular dementia. Again, well-researched, well-studied, published in a peer-reviewed journal called Neural Regeneration Research, Volume 8, Number 18, Year 2013. And last but not least, I wanted to go do pull up a little article on BPA being damaging once again. Once again, BPA is called bisphenol A. But ironically, we'll pull up that information. There were six negative studies that came out of bisphenol A all within the same week from many different organizations. I'm going to run through the titles real fast just in case I run out of time, and then I'll go back into the data. Ex early exposure to bisphenol A might damage the enamel of the teeth, American Journal of Pathology. Mm. Bisphenol A linked to obesity risk in puberty age girls, Public Library of Science Online. BPA linked to a common birth defect in boys, the Endocrine Society's 95th Annual Meeting in San Francisco. Exposure to BPA in developing prostate cancer increases risk of later, later cancer. Again, the Endocrine Society 9th and 5th Annual Meeting. BPA plus chlorine equals bad news. And that was published online, Endocrine Disruptors. That all came out five days ago from different organizations as, poted, as pointed out. All right, I'm going to go through it real fast. They discovered that basically exposure to BPA in the early ages causes the demineralization of the teeth. And what that does is lead the children to more cavities later on in life. The BPA exposed to puberty age girls. They found out the girls with the highest level of BPA had double the risk of obesity as the ones without it. The common birth defect in boys, they found out it caused the testicular part of the body, testes, not to descend. Most common birth defect in boys, prostate cancer, cell differentiation, BPA when mixed with chlorine, stops the cells from communicating all together in the body. And again, while the media focuses on vitamins, they allow this stuff to slip through, which is more than lethal to a large majority of the population. And that is it. Thank you very much for this section. Very good, Ralph. Thank you very much. Once again, do your research and uh, catch this on TAP TV, Comcast, Channel 25, or on YouTube.com uh, forward slash VH Film. Thank you very much.